we're now going to test it. So in order to test it, first we need to upload it to our Arduino. So what we'll first do is save this. Okay. So just like normal things, go File, Save As, and I'm going to call mine Motor Test. Yep. And I just save. I had one called Motor Test. I'm just going to replace that one. It's no big deal. Okay, so now that we've saved it, the next thing we need to do is grab our blue cable and connect it to our Arduino. So just like we did before, we um, put it in, you saw from before, connect it to the Arduino on one end and USB on the other end. And once you do that, the next most important thing for you to do is go to Tools and choose the correct board. Now we're using a Arduino Uno, so yeah. that's the one we need to choose. And second, this is the most important that everyone always forgets, is choose the right port. And now, it changes, doesn't it? So sometimes... And it changes. And if your USB is not plugged in, you actually won't see the USB port. So you've got to make sure okay. you click on USB. We're not going to use Bluetooth ever, so I don't know why it's ticked that. We need to tick USB. That's really important. Otherwise, it won't connect. So now that we've connected the board and connected the port, it's time to upload our code. Now, this is the upload button. Sometimes people like to verify that their code is correct first. Mm -hmm. The upload button does that for you, but regardless, I'm just going to click on verify just so we can verify if everything's all good. It See should... if we haven't lost one of those stupid semicolons yeah, along the if way. If you missed a semicolon, it would come up with errors, but I've done everything right and you can see it says done compiling, so it had no errors, so it's happy. What happens if 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 these guys well, have, let's take have one a problem. off. Let's take one off and see what happens. Right, so I've taken one off. Yep. I'm gonna compile that. Ah yeah. and it the good thing is it tells you. It says it expected a comma or a semicolon before int. And it's okay. even highlighted which, which int, int it's talking about. Awesome. So then we go, oh before that I was supposed to have something. And then you can see, oh I forgot one. I'm gonna put it back in. Yep. And I'm gonna check that again. Good. And it's done compiling, so now I'm going to upload. And you can see it's uploading, and now it said it's done uploading. Great, things Rockies. are happening. So if you've done it all good, it should things should be happening. And things are happening. But as we explained it's before, not it's, enough power. it's not enough power because it's only sending 5 volts from the Arduino to the motors, splitting between the two. So each one's only getting 2.5 volts. So it's yeah. really slow. But I can see both of them are turning and I can check the direction that they're turning. So let's see. Which direction do you think this guy's turning? All right. So should we pull the code down? So I think... So if I let my finger run around the edge of that, I can see that it's going in a clockwise motion. Okay, so we right. want this one to go in the same way. Okay, so that's the same way with the wires pointing up because that's what I was... Oh, this one's going in an anti-clockwise direction. But they will be like this. So it's actually, we want them in the opposite direction. There now we are go. they going in the same direction? Yeah, they're going in the same Perfect. direction. Perfect. They're going in the same direction, so we've pretty much done it right. However, we need to know, are they going to be going forward or reverse? At the moment, they're going backwards. Yeah. So, let's see what that means. So, while I'm doing this kind of adjustment, I'm just going to unplug the Arduino so these guys can stop running. The birds can stop chirping. Okay. <laughs> so, that meant since my forward that I turned on was actually going reverse, Instead of changing all this, I'm just yeah. going to go to the top and switch these guys around. Okay. So actually forward is 7, and backwards is 6, six. And, and forwards four is nine, 9, and backwards, backwards is 8. Easy peasy. Done. So then I'm just going to upload that. Cool. Ah, it said it had an error. Okay, this is a really good error to show you guys because well, this hang is... on a second. It says problem uploading to board, troubleshooting area... Oh, can't. Let's see if Mrs. Fugel can figure out why this error has come. All right, let me have a look. All right, so. Can't find the device. USB modem. You, hmm. It's you're not it. plugged in. So yeah. we'd unplugged it. So clearly it tells us it's not so plugged in. So we're good now. We're good now, so we just have to upload it. 
All right, so how's it going in the opposite way? Yeah, so they're now rotating forward this way, so they propel the car forward also. Perfect. Okay. We're just going to unplug it again. And we need to grab this from before. So now you just need to grab yourself a 9 volt battery, connect it. So we've got some power going. Put the, again, the red one goes into A10. And the black one which is always representative ground, can go into any of your ground ports, but it's probably easier to just put it in the ground port of the Arduino. So the Arduino had two. We've already used one of them. Let's just put it in the other one. So now <laughs> I'm going to plug it back in, and you should notice the sound of the motors will be much louder than before. Yeah, so they're much faster, much louder, because now they have a lot of power being supplied yeah, to them. Oh gosh, a little bit too much, no? Awesome. Yeah, it's cool. So, great success.